we are now going to move on to our annual 2014-2018 bond update. Dr. Dupree. Yes, sir. This is actually our quarterly report on the bond. We're going to do, we're now have two active bond programs as we ramp up the 2018 and wind down the 2014. Um, but we wanted to do a brief update tonight along with some, share a little bit about the new online dashboard we've set up for this bond program. So I'll turn it over to Oscar Perez, our Chief <coughs> Operations Officer. <coughs> Thank you, Dr. Dupree, uh, members of the board. It gives me great pleasure to be here four years after, a little over four years after we went to the voters and we asked them to entrust their money and allow us to go ahead and attempt to deliver bond 2014. And uh, I can tell you that, you know, that's always hard, not only for the voters themselves, but it's hard for staff that set these programs up because setting up bonds is not an exact science and there's a lot of moving parts a lot of a lot of things that are out of our control uh and so you you start off you do your your best in uh, going ahead and determining how much money you need and you do your best in determining <coughs> the length of time that you need to go ahead and deliver and what i want to bring you tonight is to let you know that as far as bond 2014 we have delivered and i'm uh you know, other than the CTE, which we will go ahead and complete here for the beginning of the, the year, we're at 98% complete in the total bond program. And uh, I think that is really a great accomplishment that has been able to, all of the staff that works for myself and then all of my colleagues that are in this room, it takes, you know, it, it takes a, a village, as they say, to go ahead and make these successful. And, you know, everyone has had input in what's happened and in the, in the success of this program. The other part of this is that one of the things that you want to look at is you, you want to go ahead and, and hopefully end up in the black, but if you end up in the red, you want to do that by very little. What I want to report is that we have done very well. We, we started off with no program contingency. Uh, we were very frugal as we went on with projects and we held people accountable, uh, didn't let them over design or over commit. And uh, at the time that we reported to the uh, VOC, we had a program contingency that we built up of a little over 18 million, and I want to let you know that as of today, we're at 19.8 because we've closed some additional projects. So that's uh, right around 4% on, on uh, one of these projects, and I think that is very, uh, very successful. Once again, like I say, I, my leadership are the ones that, uh, you know, that have made that possible because you, you have to go ahead and just toe the line. And sometimes it's not, you know, it's, it's not the, the uh, popular thing to do. Uh, you know, sometimes people feel that, well, I should be getting a little more, but when you're starting off a program and you're trying to, you know, project it out, you know, four to five years, you, you have to go ahead and make sure that when you end up, you, you end up healthy. And the good thing about this is that with the board's foresight, we will be able to come back to you with viable projects and ask for your approval for the use of these funds and you know we can you know continue to to utilize and to go ahead and uh, enhance our students learning environments the other thing that i want to report on is that as far as our small business initiative we uh, have been successful our goal was 25 percent and we are at 29 percent uh, overall for the bond program as I said earlier, the, the uh, final project uh, that is still hanging out there a little bit is the CTC, uh, and we will be delivering that shortly. Uh, I know we had an event there in front of it today, and uh, it, uh, it just really gives me great <coughs> pleasure, and I, and I have to go ahead and also commend uh, the CTE department because they have been instrumental uh, in working with them. Uh, I know Meredith is at every single meeting that uh, that we have. Uh, and then she is at many other meetings where she's out there, uh, you know, rattling the bushes, trying to bring in some additional dollars. And so I want to definitely, you know, commend her for that. Well, actually, um, we are the last one to pull in the tail end of the uh, bond 2014. 
So we have a few things left to do with the infrastructure, infrastructure uh, upgrade, uh, mainly are the support sites that we have to upgrade all of the uh, network equipment as well as the Wi-Fi. So we are estimating and on schedule to finish all of our uh, infrastructure upgrade by the end of this calendar year. Uh, and we are on budget to uh, finish as we uh, expected. At this point, that concludes my 2014 report. I can take some questions now, or we can take them after the 2018 report, whichever way you'd like. Let's toss in. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Verdeen. The, the main thing I wanted to do is commend you, Oscar, and your team, um, because you stepped in in the middle of bond 2014. Uh, you didn't start out uh, in your position when we started bond 2014. and. So I really just wanted to thank you um, for taking it on. It's not always an easy thing to do. Um, and you didn't just take it on, but you did an excellent job, uh, you and your team. So I just wanted to say that, and um, I consider this a success. Uh, I think uh, you, you've got, what, $11.8 million in program balance. Um, and did, would you say 19.8 in contingency, yeah, program the, contingency? The actual program contingency, the projected at that point was 11, but we are at 19 You're at, at this 19. Point. So that's incredible. I mean, really, really, really job well done. Um, thank you guys for managing it well. Thank you for, um, you know, doing everything you can to make sure that this bond uh, program was run well uh, and working with the bond oversight committee. And I just wanted to say job well done. Thank you, Mrs. Tossan. Go ahead, sir. So with that said, uh, you know, bond 2014 set the framework for bond 2018. And there was a lot of lessons learned. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that bond 2014 was perfect. It was not. But what we did was we went ahead and we wanted to, to look at how could we improve as we go forward. So the first thing that I can tell you is that one of the improvements had to do with the board allowing us to come forth and get all of our architects, all of our engineers, and all of our budgets approved a month after we pass the bond. And by doing so, we've been able to go ahead and get 42 uh, architects and engineers under contract to date. We've been able to get 14 uh, job order contractors under contract. And we will be bringing the first CSP uh, next month to the board for approval, which will be for uh, Neil for the Neil edition. In addition, one of the things that uh, was also added was that not only are we looking at SBE for the construction side of the house, but we're also looking at it for the architect and engineering uh, services. And uh, as of right now, I can report that so far we're 27% on uh, the construction side and 26% on the architect and engineer side. And so, you know, at this early stage, I think that's, you know, really a very good job. <clears throat> uh, Malala Yousafzai, we will be delivering that. It's, it's on schedule, first of all, and we will be delivering that uh, substantial completion in December of this year, and we will deliver it for students in January. And so that's, we're, we're very proud and we're uh, awaiting that school. The uh, students will be starting at two campuses at the beginning of the year, and then they will transition over to the school in January. Our uh, new construction renovations, we just, we have many projects. Land acquisition, we're gonna speak to you all shortly in, in close session about that. We'll be giving you an update. Uh, the, the Meadows is on, the demolition of the Meadows is on uh, tonight's agenda for consideration. And upon approval, we'll start the demolition of that uh, classroom. We're uh, in the design phase of our net zero middle school, and we also will be updating you on the land acquisition for that uh, project. If you recall, that one is just the design. It's not the construction dollars are not in bond 2018, but we will have the design ready to go and we will have uh, land for it. Uh, as I said, the uh, Neil Classroom Edition will be bringing uh, that in July. And then we continue to uh, do our design on Madden and then on all of the fine arts uh, uh, program. The construction work that's in progress is uh, 
uh, on, that's ongoing is, you know, doors and locks, uh, playgrounds. We're, we're doing that uh, this summer. Uh, the repairs at Hall Stadium, that's been ongoing, and we will be completing before the beginning of the uh, football season. Um, you know, the bond si uh, signage, you've probably seen those, the 14 coming down and the 18 going up. Uh, fencing around portables, we're doing uh, some of that work already this summer, and we'll continue to do that. And uh, water softeners are, are going in place also. Moving on to the communication plan uh, for the bond project, we did include an update in the April FBISD News Magazine. Uh, we went over the, the, that's a sample right there of the layout that we used. And we also have in the Back to School Magazine um, space laid out to include a longer article about the bond progress. We, we know how important it is to reach all of our um, stakeholders and so the magazine does go to all homes within Fort Bend ISD um, regardless if they have students or not so that's an important way for us to reach them. We also uh, have incorporated more video. We had a video public service announcement um, regarding the installation of the door locks throughout the district that uh, those posts got a lot of uh, mileage on social media so we went ahead and designed a plan to include more social media posts that include video of our progress. So we'll be sending those out um, throughout the, the year and sharing those with our bond oversight committee as well. Okay, I'd like to give you a brief uh, summary of the technology progress of 1-2018. Uh, we started the uh, uh, environmental control for the IT closet last year. Um, we basically finished all of the 17 campus in phase one. Uh, we're planning for phase two and currently reviewing all of the uh, design and construction and hopefully bringing it to the board for approval sometime in November uh, for the phase two uh, budget. Um, the majority of the uh, project in the initial phases uh, are in their initial phases in terms of planning, bidding, and so on and so forth. Um, fa the most exciting news is that we work along with uh, teaching and learning, have determined the phase one and phase two classroom distribution. Uh, in a phase one, uh, as you, it's listed there, we have about 47 campuses, and then phase two completed in, uh, for the year 2020, 2020 and 2021 school year, uh, 32 campuses. Uh, for the phase one deployment time frame, we are on schedule to completely deploy phase one campuses uh, by the start of school year. And then the library, currently we have the lab and the library checkout uh, uh, devices are all fully deployed to all campuses. So they, all campuses will have uh, their uh, labs and library devices by the time school starts. So <clears throat> one of the things that we also heard loud and clear was that even though uh, I still feel that of all the districts in in the region, we have the most robust reporting uh, and the most transparent of all reporting that I've ever seen. But we wanted to go a step further. We, we heard the word dashboard, and I can't take credit for that, but I can tell you that my staff was able to go ahead and put a dashboard together. And so what I'm going to ask is for uh, Sandra Becerra to come up, and uh, she can kind of show you where to go to find that and, you know, just give you a, a few little... Uh, tidbits of what is there and we hope that y'all will go out there it, it it can't be broken they told me I could even mess with it so I'm really happy with that but uh, it's it's good to, to just go out there see see what it is and then give us feedback if there's something that we need to to work on let us know but uh, we just have a whole lot of information that's right there not only for the board but it's it's forward-facing for the public to be able to go and find out Truly anything they want to find out about their, their campus uh, having to do with Bond 2018. Sandra. Good evening. Um, I will start by quickly Can demonstrating. We, I'm sorry, ma'am. Make sure that microphone's on. <coughs> Is it on? No. Can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I will start by quickly demonstrating how to uh, access the dashboard from the Fort Bend ISD uh, website. So on the uh, right bot bottom corner right here, uh, if you can see the mouse, uh, there is this uh, icon. So if you click on it, 
um, it would take you to this screen and then right here to the left you'll see the 2018 bond dashboard link so if we click there uh, it'll take us to the dashboard that we have designed for the 2018 bond program um, if we click on this icon right here if you see the mouse um, you have a full screen so um, the information that we report via this dashboard comes directly from Prolog, which is the program management system that we use to execute the bond, the 2018 bond program. Uh, the program is used by the general contractors, architects, and the management team, and it's real-time information. We update the dashboard on a monthly basis, and the information that you see posted right now was uploaded uh, as of June 10 of 2019. Uh, as we can see here, uh, we have spent, uh, committed $144 million today, uh, and we have spent today $39 million. Um, I'm going to navigate through the main uh, parts of the dashboard. Uh, the dashboard has six tabs, which you can see here at the bottom. Uh, the first tab is uh, financials and the other five tabs are schedule information. Uh, on the top left corner, we have uh, the overall package status, uh, which changes every month as the packages go from one phase to the uh, following. Uh, right be uh, below that uh, table, you'll uh, see a table with all a list of all the bid packages and, uh, and the status uh, per bid package. Um, those f both of those columns uh, can be sorted uh, for easy uh, search or, or finding information that you may want to know um, further. Uh, on the top right corner, uh, you'll see this pie chart uh, that shows bond dollar distribution per type uh, of facility, uh, whether it's elementary schools, middle schools, or high schools. And then you will see this table right here, which uh, offers a list of all the locations and the schools, um, and columns to the right um, indicating the budgets allocated per uh, school, um, as well as the commitments and the dollars spent today with the percentage spent. Uh, so for example, I'm gonna demonstrate if you are interested in knowing more about the financials of, uh, for example, Austin High School, which you can see here that has a, a budget of $19 million and we have committed uh, 976,000. Uh, if you click on the left, uh, on this plus sign, on the left of the um, name of the school, uh, it'll show all the packages that are included in that specific school. And, uh, and it gives you a snapshot of the financials for that, for each package. Um, but we can also uh, drill down even further and then uh, click on the uh, plus sign and it gives us the financials uh, broken down into these uh, five categories. Uh, architect and engineering um, uh, and professional services, construction, furniture and equipment, uh, other project costs and project contingency. Um, some of the other features that you that you have here on this tab is you can click on the pie chart or you can click on the actual packages uh, if you want specific information uh, for for a package or if you want to know what we're doing in the elementary schools only and so forth. I will move on to the uh, next tab. Um, this tab is uh, a scheduling information. Um, the reason why we have five tabs here is because we broke down all our, our facilities. Uh, so tab number two shows all the elementary schools from A through L. Um, the following tab, tab three, uh, elementary schools M through Z. Uh, tab four, uh, the middle schools. Tab five is the high schools. And then the last tab uh, is uh, the packages 47 and 51. Um, likewise, if you're interested in knowing uh, what's happening in one of the schools, you can uh, click, I'm gonna select Blue Ridge, 
as an example, uh, you can come here and click on that arrow to the left of the school and it lists all the packages that uh, are included in the work that we are doing in that specific school. Uh, but it's further, uh, you're interested in knowing when the package 10, for example, fine arts uh, will be done. You click on that arrow uh, and then it shows us uh, four bars. Um, this is consistent in all the packages uh, and those are the design activity, the procurement activity, the construction and the close out. Um, likewise, you can uh, click on any other package you may be interested. Uh, say like, for example, uh, playground. Um, the, um, on the right, uh, if you uh, place your mouse over the bars, uh, you'll have information about the start date and the end date specific information. And this dotted line is today's day. Um, same as the financial tab, uh, there are some features here. You have a search uh, button, um, a reset view, and you can also click on the packages if you want to uh, uh, have information just for one specific uh, package. Uh, this dashboard is very, very interactive. Um, so we encourage everyone uh, of you and the community to uh, visit the website and to play around with the dashboard. There's nothing, nothing bad can happen, uh, but it's very interactive and you can only uh, have fun with it uh, if you try yourself and click on every field that you find here. And if you have any questions, we will be happy to address any questions uh, when you come up with any uh, questions or concerns. Oscar. Well, thank you very much, and that concludes our presentation. If you have any questions, I'm uh, ready to answer. Thank you very much, sir. I uh, really appreciate the presentation. I wanted to reiterate that this is available to everybody. Everybody can go on the Fort Bend ISD website and follow the links that we were just shown in the community. It's just not available to board members. I wanted to reiterate that. Um, Mr. Rosenthal, do you have a question or comment? Yes. Um, so I did notice... Uh, in the presentation and, and on the agenda tonight. Um, over the last couple of years, we've kind of gone away from CMARs. And uh, it seems like pretty much most of the major projects coming up uh, in this bond are, are, looks like we're gonna use CMARs for those. Is there a reason that we've kind of gone back to that or? <coughs> so, we're, uh, so we're not using it for most, we are using it for some projects that we felt uh, we needed to go ahead and use the method because it would allow us to, to release some early packages. And so those are the ones that we're using and they actually, we uh, have those on the agenda, you know, coming forth. But uh, we, as I said, Neil will be coming, that's a CSP. We have quite a few CSPs. A anytime that we feel that we have the, uh, the time to go ahead and get the project done, we would look at a CSP. But in, in the case of uh, High School 12, uh, Meadows and Lakeview, we felt that uh, CMAR would be the better method to utilize to be able to get us to uh, deliver those projects. Okay, is that because you feel like the contractors have more of an incentive to get that work done well, more it, efficiently? Uh, actually, sir, I feel that it gives us a little more flexibility, as I said, to go ahead and start some of the work before the design is 100% is complete. In the CSP, we have to complete the design, then we put it out to bid. Uh, in the CMAR, we can actually go ahead and release some early packages and, and get things moving. Okay. And then uh, the item on fencing. So are we actually at the design stage or are we actually at, at a construction phase at any of our, uh, our campuses for that? Uh, yes, sir. We, we are, we're in both design and construction. We're, we'll be installing fences around uh, some of the portables this summer. So that uh, we'll, we'll be going forward with that and we'll get some of those completed this summer. Okay, so I don't know, maybe, does anybody, I don't remember seeing any of those on our agenda. Yes, sir, that, that came as a job order contractor and we, we br uh, brought it in for approval and then what we're doing is we're working with uh, the chief and we're working with the campus to go ahead and determine you know, where the fencing will go. Uh, but it, it came to the board uh, as a, a job order contractor. 
Okay, and I just don't know. And we're still just doing chain link? Well, it's some is chain link, but it's going to depend. In, in some of the uh, home associations, we may be doing something different. I mean, we're kind of looking at each of them uh, individually. Okay, well, I don't remember seeing that, but we see a lot of things. I, I do hope that, that we consider other things other than just chain link that anybody can see through right from the street. So um, the other thing is I think that the dashboard, that is, that is really awesome. And uh, I think we should also communicate that with a really short little video to go out, you know, to people that, that can go out there and into the community and just so they can see how easy and transparent that, that really is. Uh, that's a great tool. So thank you for doing that. I think that's it. Thank you, Mr. Rosenthal. Mr. Rice? <clears throat> I wanted to add on to Mrs. Tossan's comments and Mr. Rosenthal's comments. And thank you, uh, Mr. Perez, for your leadership in taking this on. And also uh, Carolina Weissman, or Carolina Fazzetti, and Ashley Dixon. And uh, to you, Mr. Pham, we are further along with our IT than we've ever been, ever, in this district, thanks to your leadership. So thank you for that. And now, uh, Mr. Perez, you've undertaken completing this next bond in three years, in three short years. All you have to do is spend a million dollars a day to do it. So uh, thank you very much, and I know you'll do a great job. And the dashboard, it does look great. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mrs. Helliger? Yeah, I just want to comment that I'm overly excited, over the moon, over this dashboard. And um, just um, this is top notch. And um, I agree with you, Mr. Rosenthal, that a good video on how to use it would probably be good for people so they can understand what, what they're what they're um, looking at. I, I do have a qu quick question. Maybe I missed this. I, I apologize if I did. Um, how frequently is the data being updated? You know, every month? Every month, okay. All right, okay, thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Helliger. Again, thank you, Mr. Perez. Thank you for your leadership, and uh, we appreciate your team as well. Great presentation. It's really exciting, um, once again, as it was stated up here with the dashboard, so can't thank you enough for that. We will now convene in closed session under the Texas Open Meeting Act, Chapter 551, and those sections listed in the agenda and for the purpose of private consultation with the board's attorney on any or all subject matters authorized by law. We are now convened in closed session. <laughs>